A teen charged with murdering three children in a rampage at a Taylor Swift dance class has been named for the first time today. Axel Rudakabana was able to be a mass after a judge lifted reporting restrictions just days before his 18th birthday. BB King, six, Elsie Dot, Stancum, seven, and nine-year-old Alice De Silva Aguia were knifed to death in the mass stabbing in Southport. Eight other children suffered stab wounds in the horror, with five in a stable condition in hospital, along with two adults. Ruda Cabana, 17, rocked back and forth in the dock as he appeared at Liverpool Crown Court, today charged with three counts of murder. He is also accused of 10 counts of attempted murder and possession of a bladed article, a curved kitchen knife used in the attack. Usually any defendants aged under 18 are entitled to anonymity, but Judge Andrew Maneri KC declined to make such an order to conceal his identity. He instead announced Ruda Cabana could be named after hearing legal submissions, telling the court that not doing so would allow others to spread misinformation. He said, whilst I accept it is exceptional given his age, principally because he is 18 in six days' time, I do not make any order under section 45. Continuing to prevent the full reporting has the disadvantage of allowing others to spread misinformation in a vacuum. How many more children have died inside our streets, Prime Minister? How many more children? How many more children, Prime Minister? You go, make a real change, Prime Minister. Get Get make a real change! Get our children! Get our children! Yes. The community of Southport had to suffer twice. A gang of thugs got on trains and buses, went to a community that is not their own, a community grieving the most horrific tragedy and then proceeded to throw bricks at police officers, police officers who just 24 hours earlier had been having to deal with an attack on children in their community. And so I've just held a meeting with senior police and law enforcement leaders where we've resolved to show who we are a country that will not allow understandable fear to curdle into division and hate in our communities, and that will not permit, under any circumstances, a breakdown in law and order on our streets. Because let's be very clear about this. It's not protest. It's not legitimate. It's crime. Crime is crime. And so to that end, I can announce today that following this meeting, we will establish a national capability across police forces to tackle violent disorder. These thugs are mobile. They move from community to community. And we must have a policing response that can do the same. And let me also say to large social media companies and those who run them, violent disorder clearly whipped up online that is also a crime. It's happening on your premises. And the law must be upheld everywhere. In relation to what happens over the next few weeks and months, it, it is obvious to me, and I think obvious to anybody looking in, that so far as the far right is concerned, this is coordinated. Um, this is um, 
deliberate. This is not a protest uh, that has got out of hand. It is a group of individuals who are, who are absolutely bent on violence. Um, and that's why it's important, I think, to pull together the senior uh, police and law enforcement leaders as we did today. Thank you all very much indeed.